Griffin is kicking us off in Charleston, South Carolina. Griffin, welcome to the show. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for having me. My dad and I are huge fans, so really appreciate, appreciate your time. Thank you. How can Absolutely. we help? I want, want some guidance here on what to tackle in terms of my loans or just to keep stacking money in my savings account. Um, currently have three main loans between my townhome, student loan, as well as my car. Um, and to uh, break down the numbers for you, the townhome was just recently purchased um, for $410,000 put down 10% and the current loan is for 368,535. That's on a seven year arm at 4.75%. I just paid my first mortgage on the 1st of October and that was $2,365, which I own the property myself. However, I do split that payment with my girlfriend that lives with me. Okay. And then we've got my student, yep, then we got my student loans. Um, those, to be perfectly honest with you, I have not paid in a while um but there's about six different loans between 3.76 percent and 4.6 percent and the standing balance on that is 26,654 and then there's the car which is a 3.69 percent loan um and that total is nine thousand four hundred and fifty five dollars and i'm paying that every month obviously which is a 341 dollar payment okay what's your question my question is, I've got income of about $175,000 a year, 26, and I've been fortunate enough to be put into this position. Um, do I continue to do the minimum payments on these loans, or should I pay my car off all in one month, which basically I'm a last commission check that I just earned. I can do that, um, plus save some. Um, I'm trying to, under, to trying to get some guidance here on what next steps to take um, to get to the point of financial freedom really as quick as possible. I love it. Well, one way to get to financial freedom as quickly as possible is to stop going into debt. So are we on the same page mm -hmm. that there is no more debt in the picture? No more debt in the picture. I don't have a credit card. Okay, um, great. So. But all the other things are debt. The car loan, the student Correct. loan, the townhome. So here's one thing. Correct. You mentioned a lot of interest rates, which tells me you love math. You love crunching the, the numbers number. and justifying every purchase, right? Yes, sir. So one thing we're going to do, it's really hard for people like you who are sharp, is to ignore the interest rates. Okay. Now, if we ignore the interest rates and we start listing these balances from smallest to largest, that tells me the car loan is gone this month, then we're attacking the student loans. Those are going to be gone in a few more months. Right. And then we're going to build an emergency fund of three to six months of expenses. And then the house, that'll come later. We're not going to worry about that as part of I our consumer debt. I should have mentioned I have 56000 in savings. Well, that helps. We're debt-free today, yeah. my man. What are you waiting for? <laughs> I should have mentioned that. And 1000 in my check. -in. So why are you hanging on to the fifty six and not just paying off the debt as it's accruing interest? Because the – well, that's a great question. <laughs> I think uh, a, a large part of it is because I wanted to save for a townhome. I didn't know how much exactly I needed until I made the purchase, which was just done in the last three or four months. So that money is really residual from the money I was saving up for a down payment. For so that you decided time. I'm just going to put 10% so, down and leave the rest in the bank. The difference between the 10 to 15% and the offer that was provided, it was really not – it wasn't. It didn't make enough sense for for me to do the additional five percent. So I just put ten down. That's correct. And and so this is you know what like I just said, just paid my first mortgage payment. So kind of in one month, one of uh, owning this property and living in okay. it, and trying to decide what to do with my money. Yeah, he's spinning plates, George. He's got There's financial a, plates. You're all doing seventeen over the place. things at once. Yeah. Number one, it it does worry me that girlfriend is paying into this Dude. and she doesn't own any part of it. And if this doesn't work out, she's gonna feel like she got screwed, right? Um, I, there, you know, I can't speak for anybody here, um, but I, what I do know is that I did come to the situation by salary alone would, would pay, and then my commission on top, right, would, would, would be, okay. uh, I would be able to pay these other bills, right? So there, that, that is, I am in that position. I'll tell you what I would do, what Dave Ramsey would do if he was sitting here, and that is to be completely mm -hmm. debt-free by the end of the day and use the rest of the money as okay. an emergency fund. And we're going to then start mm -hmm. investing 15% of our income into retirement. Any money beyond that is going to get thrown at the mortgage. And I would probably look at refinancing when it makes sense over to a 15-year fixed okay. rate because those adjustable rate mortgages are the worst. Okay. Very okay. dangerous really type of loan. I appreciate that, Garden. So okay. you're in a great yeah. spot. Right. We just have to start 
doing things with focused intensity one at a time. But the good news is exactly. you can do this all tomorrow if you decide to. Okay. So, uh, you know, in terms of that's exactly what I wanted to hear was I feel like I'm putting a lot of attention towards a few different things rather than focusing and honing in as, uh, you know, a, gaz- a gazelle intensity, as they would say, yeah. towards one of these. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, you know this stuff. I'm just curious, how come you haven't done it? It seems like you've been listening for a while. Um, I, I think a lot of it is um, I am financially conservative and I like seeing the bank account grow. There's that level of uh, pride. But then the other the other half of it is I, I am 26 and I, I am taking uh, these steps a little quicker than than maybe some people would. But, you know, there's no excuse for that. I'm, 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 I'm ready to tackle this and, and start making moves tomorrow. So Well, your greatest wealth you building tool is your income. You make an amazing income at 26 of 175000 and I just want to see it work for you instead of it disappear into the yeah. abyss and you're going, I don't feel like I'm making great progress. Uh, I, I'm listening in here. I'm listening intently. Coach Griffin. Ken, jump in. I'm going to. Uh, I, I think you have been tinkering because you like finances um, I think you mm-hmm. like strategies, and that's going to make you uh, susceptible and t- to temptations to tinker. And so here's my coach mm-hmm. Ken, my coach Ken phrase: Stop tinkering, and start focusing. Focus on the baby steps the way George laid them out. You've been listening to the show. Just focus on the baby steps. Stop tinkering around. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Just yes, stop. Sir. You're going to get start further. Start you're going to get further with focus, right? And, uh, sure. and now, you you know, you can always be curious and see what options are for you long term, but that's after you get yourself in a financially stable situation. You got it? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Have you read The Total Money Makeover, Griffin? I haven't, but I'm going to. Well, can I send it to you, or do you already have a copy? I don't have a copy. but Now I, you do. Boom. Boom. We're going to ship it to you, my man. Hang on the line. Austin will pick up, and we will send you a copy of The Total Money Makeover. That book gets me pumped every time. I still read it once a year just to stay focused and stay motivated. The audio book is great, too. So hang on the line. We'll get that to you. But right now, focus is the operative word here. And you make a great income at a young age, and if you can use it and channel it like a laser, dude, you can do some amazing things with your money. Stop tinkering. Start focusing. I was hoping for Where's a T word. chalkboard? I was really hoping for a T word. Write it on Ken a chalkboard Coleman. right there. All right. I'll take it, Ken. All right. Pretty good. Tweet that.